Sassy men are so up right now. <laughs> We've been up. We've been up. We've been expressing our feelings. We never cared. I just want to push it even further. I'm just here to push it even further. Just push it even further. I want to take this. I want to take this to the moon. I want to take this to the stars. After careful deliberation, I have decided that I officially too will join the soft guy era. You don't get all this handsome dark chocolate for free anymore. I'm handsome, I'm educated, I'm tall, I'm athletic. You don't get all this for free anymore. Unless you're going to pay my bills, buy me a car, take me out to eat and buy me gifts on the regular, don't even breathe in my direction. I am done tolerating the bare minimum. You can either treat me like a king or you can get out of here. I am a soft, sassy, or feminine man, and one thing I realized a while ago is that my masculinity has nothing to do with my sexuality. And I think that's one of the biggest contributors to this idea of toxic masculinity, is defining people's sexuality for them based off the way they express themselves, or the way that we assign gender to expression. Like for instance, I will carry this bag around. Some people may call it a purse, but it is just a very convenient way for me to, to carry things around my pocket anymore. Because what does carrying a purse around, getting my toes done, or taking care of myself have to do with my sexuality? Nothing. And I've never been more secure in my masculinity or sexuality, but I had to stop living up to society's definition of either. There's a war going on outside, no man is safe from. This is not a test. Alpha Villain Show is on right now, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Alpha Wars. I am your host, AV, aka Alpha Villains. Let's go. I appreciate everybody for being here. Do me a favor, make sure you guys like the video, share the video upon entry. This is a special one, bro. This is a special one. I got Afi Kingdom books in the building we're gonna talk about the state of masculinity we're gonna talk about a lot of things and let me bring him up matter of fact this is a guy who needs no introduction so i'm gonna bring up my big bro right now afi kingdom hold on hold on rusty what's good with you my g my bro what's going on just trying just trying to line up with the with the boom boom okay there we go Peace, peace, peace. Yeah, Guys, yeah. yeah, this is this is a special one, man, on a Sunday. I appreciate you for coming on, man. You know, you've taken a little break, a little hiatus, a little, you've kind of fell back a little bit with content. Let me ask you a question before we dive in and kind of give everybody what to expect on this show. Is the state of masculinity, <laughs> the the confusion? Was that a contributing factor as to why you decided to kind of fall back into doing content for masculinity? Um, you know what? It's funny. Like, I'm very, I'm a very throwback type of cat. So, you know, even when I was young and I was a kid, I, I used to watch black exploitation movies. Fred Williamson's, Fred Williams. See, it's so sassy. I got, I'm adding essence to the wrong shit. Fred Williamson. Fred Williamson, uh, uh, Fred Brown, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, I can't think of all the cats. And even when I was in, so I used to watch those things. And then even when I was, um, a little bit older, like people noticed, like my, my, my go-tos who I, who I looked at was, uh, Arnold and, uh, and so that, that's why I have them on like on similar on a lot of my books. Cause I saw, I looked up to, they were very masculine cats. Right. And, I thought I thought see 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 this is the problem, bro. When so so I'm gonna summarize it like this. Like, see, when I was a kid, I was looking at it. 
I thought masculinity was cool. It didn't have nothing to do with bitches, though. Mm. I just thought being masculine was cool. You know about it. How many bitches was rock? Well, how many bitches was Rocky fucking? You see what I'm saying? So, well, yeah, nothing right. to do with uh, 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 them slaying hoes. I just thought being masculine was cool, bro, and I wanted to be masculine too. Right, you know? right, right. Absolutely, man. And you know, this is what we've been talking about, man. This is why you know I decided to create this show, Alpha Wars, because you know you and I and other men who kind of feel this way are. There's a shortage of guys like us, right? You said something very important about masculinity and not having to do anything with hoes. And I think it's very important for us to at least give the youth in the future a chance to know that being masculine is cool. You don't have to have bitches. It's a perk. You don't have to have all these things that people on YouTube are glorifying. And we just want to make sure that you guys know that you are not alone. If you feel in a particular way that you want to embrace your masculinity, your natural state, and you can't find a way to do that. Do that. There is, there are men out there who really feel and understand your pain. We understand what's going on. So, I wanted to come on. I wanted you to come on here, and I appreciate you coming on for on a, on a Sunday night. I know you're looking yeah, well. Because I don't want to forget, bro. Because because I was looking at the the trailer and shit. Those videos I never seen, bro. See, this is the thing, bro. I'm finna cook, nigga. <laughs> Cause I'm, cause I, this topic is for real. These new niggas want to be bitches. Let's just keep it straight up. Now, I didn't even, bro. I ain't even talked to you about this. I didn't even talk. This was last night. So me and baby girl, right? You know, we were watching. Um, and I don't. If you haven't seen this, bro, it's gonna give you the mind explosions, bro. I don't. Maybe you have, but we were watching. Talk to me. Um, the Tom Brady roast. Did you see that on Netflix? No, bro. I didn't even have a chance to talk to you about that humiliation ritual. But let's go. Go ahead. Even she was even like, what the fuck was this? What the fuck is this? Dude, so this is what's happening here. They're getting the most masculine people, a.k.a. football players, to get comfortable saying, bro, I, it, put it like this, bro. The shit was three hours. We made a game of it to where who go, let, let's see how long it takes for them to start drop the gay shit. It's that bad, bro. Like, And the thing is, it's also tapping into the Illuminati shit because they made jokes about like, Fucking with little kids and ha 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 though and like yeah you know that sound like something you know y'all was jerking each other's dicks like that kind of shit bro but it's like each feature had their person and then so every every nigga every single person and then Peyton Manning uh, Manning came in last and it seemed like it seemed like he was going past me like oh finally somebody stuck up you can even tell Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart he got paid he wasn't really with that shit though you could tell. Right, right, he right. Put that shit. He was kind of like, I know I got paid, but what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, what the fuck got me in, bro. Like, watch it, please watch it. You're gonna see. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Because I was, I slept with him. I'm like, bro. And then at the end, he was just like, yeah, they won the Super Bowl, and they was talking about Belichick's hell of uh, always hella serious and shit. And then here we go. I would have thanked him like this, and I'm like, oh, bro, every single body, ten for ten, <laughs> bro. That's if, what I'm saying, so man. Then, Football players are meant to be the mask. So if the masculine man can talk gay, then regular niggas can talk gay. And just Boom. how these guys talking about and why I can't do it too and all of this shit. Y'all want to be bitches, bro. It's like it's like y'all niggas don't want to be fine to these hoes and hams. Y'all want to be cute to these hoes, bro. Mm, let's go. I, I don't want to be cute. If my bitch call me cute, that's an insult. I don't want to be cute to her. <laughs> right, right, right. Yo. <laughs> I'm going to peep that. Guys, you know this stream. We're going to cook tonight, man. You know, they're not going to monetize this shit. If you want to support the show, Cash App Alpha Villains. Afi, what is your, your – uh, and I'm going to put it in the link, too. What's your what's your Cash App, my G? Um, I, I think it's Afi Kingdom Podcast. It's Afi, Kingdom. Afi Kingdom Podcast. All right, make sure you guys support and follow my bro. All his links are going to be on there. But here's what here's what to expect, guys. We're going to react to a video. Afi Kingdom. We're going to react to a couple of videos. But the first video we're going to react to – Find why they wear purses, bro. Like why? Like what? Like 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 how? Like how? Like just some shit you just don't do, and you just gotta eat it. You know what I'm saying? If I want to walk around with some gay ass shit, I'm just walking around with some gay ass shit. Everything ain't to be justified. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and this is the world that we live in, guys. And if you are uncomfortable with this, you should be able to relate to this. So let's break down this video that you dropped, bro. You did an emergency stream recently, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let the guys play it. We're gonna react to it. I want to hear your psyche. What made you do it? And let's go. Hold up. Well, this is an emergency. So this is the problem that I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> now, I'm an older cat. 
so I will disclaim that. I don't I don't really understand what's going on here, bro. So I'm on Instagram. I mean, okay, so let me do a couple of this. What's up, TLP? What's up, Trav? Trav, what time are you gonna pull up to the event, bro? I'm hundred percent I'm hundred percent uh and we're gonna stop it whenever you feel like you wanna stop it. I'm gonna stop it as well so I can get into your mindset. Cause this is crazy. Let's go. I'm hundred percent pulling up. So what time are you gonna be there? I had left you a message. On the uh, Instagram, um, this shit is disappointing, bro. Now it's kind of hard to say because I know, like, I, I'm a I'm a fan of Prince and I'm a fan of Michael Jackson and shit like that. And th those cats are like real life um musicians, though, bro. So I'm, I know I'm going all over the place, but not. So I'm looking at this shit first. first the, the first thing that triggered it is little is is Playboy right. Party. Cause I was a fan of Playboy Cardi and this nigga be wearing thongs and shit, bro. And so I'm like, all right, that's that's some fucked up shit. And so now I'm looking at this Coachella shit this morning, and this this fucking little Uzi Vert with this red. Oh, y'all y'all Google Coachella or y'all go on Instagram and look at little Uzi Vert. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that shit, bro? That shit crazy. Bro. They be looking so proud too, bro. They look at and they be looking so proud of themselves. Like I'm facing the magic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this this one this is a trigger one. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna be doing this. Sorry. Because I don't like this stuff, bro. And it, and I don't like bitch ass niggas. I don't. Mm. I don't like bitch ass niggas. A lot of these a lot of these niggas, they, they be like, I don't know, a lot of these niggas be seeming soft. I just be wanna punch some of these niggas in the face, bro. Oh God. Soft niggas, y'all niggas be running around here putting put us put us putting pussy on the pedestal and teaching niggas how to creatively do it too. Get that shit out of here, nigga. These hoes is down here, bro. On everything. Let's go. Let's go. How you want to be? How you want to be like a bitch, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, let everybody know we cooking right now. We are talking about the state of masculinity. Let's go. Uh, Coachella performance. I'm confused. Like, how, how, how the fuck, how, how is this possible? I mean, we get like Diddy popping Meek Mills and shit like that, whatever. We know that shit goes on behind the scenes. That's the secret shit, bro. How is, how is like a nigga able to like walk around like this and still be pop? Like, how does he still like, and then I'm looking at this shit and bitches are screaming and shit. And I'm like looking at this shit utterly confused. Like, how can you, how can you, how can you, I don't, I don't know. I just come from a, a different day. And different people, like I said, when I was in high school, I listened to Too Short, I listened to Three Times Crazy, I listened to fucking DMX, I listened to Jay Z, I listened to fucking Ja Rule, and I'm just looking at my phone like I got to talk about this shit because this, I mean, I mean, bro, like, how, some I need to pull this shit up, bro, because so talk to him, Fee, you you coach, you out of the okay, watch this, you know. You're, you're a coach. You're a mindset coach. You dabbled into the dating sphere, right? Because a lot of guys have women up here as opposed to being down here. So because hey, you're you know well what, bro? Let me let me let me do let me do a quick little discernment too. I, I dabbled in the dating space. I didn't think that I was gonna have to be stuck there though. <laughs> right. You heard what he said? He dipped his toes in the water. He didn't know he had to stay there. This is, it's going to make sense later on, guys. You guys are limiting yourselves because, again, not only are you putting women up here, now you're starting to emulate feminine men because it appears that women are receptive to feminine men. This Bro, is not no, the way. No, just the only reason why I be posting the memes and the teachers and shit is because I be wanting to tell y'all how easy the bitches is. I, I don't be reporting the news like that. I be clowning y'all niggas on the low because I be looking like these. That look at the, stop looking at stop looking at the captions that the, the memes say and start looking at what I say, and then that then you'll get it. These the same ones y'all be matching with on Tinder, yeah. And then and then she got one nigga pregnant, and then she get in trouble off on bail. And then while she off on bail, she get fucked with another one. These are the same ones that y'all hit me up about, bro. Yes. Because I because dudes always be saying, well, that's just the ones you fuck with. Okay, well, how about these, bro? These looking like regular white soccer moms to me. Word. Let's go. Uh, press one. Have y'all seen what I'm talking about? I mean, bro, like, so this so so look up Coachella and look up Ooh.
Uzi Vert. Like, I'm, how is this possible? How can you be? Uh, I'm confused. Like, this nigga got a girlfriend and everything. So, it's, I'm trying to, I'm confused. Like, is this nigga trolling, performing? People thought I'm, she, I'm, she I'm, pushed I'm, I'm really asking y'all. Like, is he trolling? Because I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. The Miami girls. Go ahead, go ahead, v, what? No, you know the Miami girls. She pegging him for sure. Right. That's for sure. Absolutely. There ain't, that's why he's sticking with Legs her. Legs up in the air and all of that. That's why he's sticking with her, bro. She. That's why she's sticking with him. She stick with him because he spent a lot of money. He stick with her because she knows secrets. That's it. <laughs> Y'all heard, Y'all heard what he said? Shit, but Diddy, but it ain't Diddy. It's the same shit. Why you think, yeah, why you think Jada won't leave? Why you think Will won't leave Jada? She know all his secrets, bro. Not even just gay shit, just embarrassing shit, bro. This this is this is what we talking about. Lil Uzi Vert, we don't know if he's trolling or not. Is this the world that we live in, right? So he's got a girlfriend and all of that. Why does he why does a feminine man that carries a purse that dresses like that, that paints his nails and all of that silly shit have a girlfriend? It's a yin and the yang. So the girlfriend must be pegging this nigga. Okay. And she kind of masculine too a little bit about um and y'all feel the feel free to hoot the super chat. I was watching this shit about um uh Diddy and Foxworth Bentley, how they basically said that that was a character that they created. Like he was a regular cat and they wanted him to be wild and obnoxious like that and with the umbrella. That was a character. So I'm just looking at this shit like how, how why do you gotta like I don't understand like if okay, is what y'all think? Is is this is he trolling or is he really just this gay? And if he's this gay, that's fine, but how is it not like a like, how is it not like a thing? How can you walk around and you got a half shirt on and you got a fucking, a, a fake, a fake fucking, uh, 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 a fake fucking um, football fucking red fucking shit on and then you got a half of uh, your stomach out and, uh, man, hold on, I, I'm going to have to get on my computer, bro, because if y'all don't, if y'all don't, somebody pull this up. I'm on my phone. Hold up. I think this is very important, Fee, and I think this is also very important as well. And I know you've shared this in the past, you know. I want to be clear, and I got to speak for myself, and, and you can speak on your behalf. If you're gay, be gay, okay? I have don't family members that are gay. What's that? Don't insult people's intelligence, bro. Boom. Very important what he just said, and I just want to say this as well. I don't have a problem with the gay community. I have a problem with the gay community being the only acceptable community. If you are heterosexual, you like pussy, you want to be masculine. Why can't we have the same of uh, be afforded the same opportunities? Why does the algorithm have to suppress my motherfucking channel? Why am I still at 4,000 motherfucking subscribers? If Dude, I'm masculine. No, no, no shot to my homie, but you know what I'm talking about. You know that nigga like at 70 now, bro? It's like that's what that's what they want us to be about now. You know, so they're like, okay, who 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 good at this type of content? Okay, we're gonna make him a star. Bro, the nigga got like, I, bro, I, I fought around the around the first around the one around the time the second this this song, this nigga had five thousand subs, bro. I remember seventy, bro. He had ten thousand live ten thousand live viewers yesterday. That's what they want now. What? We got we got seven live viewers in here. I got I got somebody, Afi Kingdom, a legend, OG in the in this shit. 50, 54,000 subscribers. Y'all make sure y'all like this video and share this video because YouTube is not going to push this because YouTube wants you to be feminine. YouTube wants you to emulate little Nas X and little Uzi Vert. If you're going to be gay, be gay. But if you're masculine and we know that the big machine is not going to support us, we got to stick together, bro. Because masculinity is a dying breed and we got to continue to talk about it and move around the machine, bro. Like I don't, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too deep into it. But I, I, I told you this, and I'm telling y'all this, and it's reversed of what everybody thinks. How everybody thinks, oh, Kevin Hart going against the Illuminati. I don't think that. I think Illuminati gave him the pass, bro, to say certain shit, bro. You don't, he, 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 he dropping names. Nah, bro. It, they, he, 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 he's, he's, y'all get a finesse, bro. He, you think it's hard to kill people? His security not that game type, bro. You see niggas running up to Drake's house. You think you think you no, let's just you you think Drake got better. You think Cat Williams got better security than Drake? I don't think so. Right. Everybody's touchable. So us talking about this, us really talking about the things that you guys see, 
Maybe you don't have a platform. Maybe you're scared of the algorithm. I already know they ain't giving me shit. I already know that if you're going to be a man, I had to make a choice. Be goofy and feminine or just be masculine and figure it out, right? This is what we encourage you guys to do, right? This is what they tell you to do. You don't need all the money in the world to be masculine. So we talking about if you're going to be gay, just be gay. But don't just, just insult look, our intelligence. Just like right now, bro. I'm, I'm being masculine by being all this shit. Because if I was one of them sassy niggas, I'd have been like, I'm sick. My tummy hurt. I'm going to just get on here and drink tea and do it from bed. I'm going to do the shit that I said I was going to do. Because I'm a fucking man. I told my man That's I was going to do it. I'm going, oh, my throat hurt though, AV. I don't know. Maybe next week. No, nigga, I'm going to do the shit. Sick yeah, because no you know shit. at the end of the Word and that's and that's I mean you already know you know what I'm saying that's what it is when you're a man you're supposed to stand and this is an important message let's let the video play oh this was a random emergency live because I was because I, I should I, I need to get my computer to pull this shit up so y'all because I'm I'm confused like okay is this a troll or is this a character or or is if even if you are gay how is it I'm confused I'm, I'm like I say I'm talking I'm not giving y'all the game I'm asking y'all I'm confused how is it that accepted to walk around like so this nigga he got his first off his hair is like red finger wave red shit and then he got makeup on and fucking all these piercings and shit and he got this red uh half toppy thing on and then he got these red like weird like pants on bro if you got if you gotta look at it and see the way he walking bro this nigga walk in as the bitches of all hoes then he forgets his birkin bag what the fuck is going on just pause it, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm just listening to myself. Yeah, you two don't really want me up there, bro. Yeah, That's what I'm bro. saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I push a narrative that that that's gonna be an unpopular one, and it, that's like, like that, dude. That's why. The, okay, people think people think they got Andre Tate's. Just, people think they got Andre Tate shit out of here because of the, the, of the allegations, right? The allegations were to get him out of here. Do you get what I'm saying? It was. It's not because of that. That is why that happened. Let's get him right. out of here by the allegations. The allegations right. by themselves didn't get him out. We got a masculine cat that motherfuckers is looking at like Superman. Oh, we need him out of here. Uh-uh. Right. Uh, the jump went too far now. Uh-uh. We need him out. What's the quickest what place? Just like, just like when niggas make rumors about me and shit. They can't say I'm not, I'm a good cat, so they're going to try to say like the snitching shit. Like, like I'm, I'm trying to get uh, fucking shit niggas getting nigga shit uh, deleted and shit. Like, that's just so far some shit that I would do that was offensive. But I'm just saying, like, you can't say I'm not a genuine person. You can't say I ain't got no game. You can't say I ain't got no sauce. So it's just like the snitch route and the and the, that's like the that's like the, 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 the slick undertone that you can really offend somebody easy. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody wants Absolutely. to be. Like, that's why Kendrick pulled it on him just now. Like, Precisely. You, you see, he, he, Kendrick can call Drake a, a, a Drake a bitch 50 million times, but he only got to call him a petty one time. And you know what's interesting, what you just said? People with integrity, men with integrity, would get offended by that. And how do you how do you hit a man with integrity where it hurts? You, you, you try to defame him. You try to minimize his accomplishments. You try to t call him a snitch. You try to call him a faggot. You try to, you try to um, dox him and do some goofy shit. This is why the algorithm is against the truth, right? The truth is censored. I said this four years ago. So the bottom line is, unless we're kicking women out, we're just we're we're, we're attacking each other as men, despite our confidence and our egos. We're not acting feminine. YouTube is going to suppress us. This is why it's so important for you to support. If you feel like this, if you guys are frustrated, you guys feel this way. You don't like the way this content creator is doing things and shit, even though he's yelling at you to tell you to do it. You got to start thinking for yourself. Why you think the blue hair cap? Why you think he got popping? Why? What the fuck is his name? Is the blue shit? Yeah, because yes. they want to. They need popular niggas to push that narrative, bro. Because they can't. They can't push the narrative with random people. You have to get the top people in the people to do for the shit to work. That's why they got bad Bunny wearing skirts and shit, bro. You know, if you get fucking Chingy to wear skirts, nobody's gonna follow Chingy at this point. You got to get the top people, bro. That's Precisely. what makes it okay. Now watch this. Look at this. Y'all seen this? This is one of my favorite rappers. <laughs> Look at this sassy nigga, B. 
<laughs> Look at this sassy nigga. This is fabulous, bro. Now, what about this? I know this is this is this might hit you in the in in the head, uh, Afi Kingdom. Yeah. Dip set, dip set, that dip level. Set. Especially that left one, the expression on his face, bro. Like he dropped. You know, you know why? You know why the, the Diddy shit was so shocking to me is, I mean, it. It's like I know the game. It was just, it was two things at once. It was kind of like how you know you get the women on. You know how the, you go on Maury Povich, and then so the right. dudes concerned about is that my kid or not? It's like they want that to not be their kid so much. They skipping over the whole cheating part, and they just sure. forgot about the got cheat. So it's just like that, like. It was never confirmed Diddy was gay, and it was never confirmed Meek Mill was gay. So you get to find out sure. they're being gay with each other. Like usually, you know how that should be. Like it'll be a famous person and like some train they get caught with some random train. You know what I mean? Like rapper get caught with train. Like Eddie Murphy. It's not rapper get caught with the most popular famous person in the world type. That doesn't happen. Like right. Remember <laughs> Eddie, Murphy, Eddie Murphy got caught out there with the tranny years back. He said he was just being nice <laughs> at four thirty in the morning, my nigga. Eddie Murphy, if y'all remember that shit, Eddie Murphy got caught out there with a tranny being nice. So, like we said, unless we, unless you are, if you are a man, gentlemen, if you're a man, you must feel this way because unless you are embracing your feminine side on a whole other level, you're not going to ascend. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. That's Buster Bus, bro. What happened to Buster Rhymes, bro? That's crazy. Like, like, for me, where I come okay, from, that's fault. like career-ending shit. Like, how do you... How, like, I, I don't want to sound like no hater, but I'm confused. Like, I'm a masculine man. Like, how was this type of shit... How was this type of shit accepted in the masses? Like, how, how, why, how? Like, I'm confused. Press one. Have y'all seen what I'm referencing? Because if y'all, if y'all don't, if y'all haven't seen what I'm referencing, then I'm, I'm kind of not saying nothing. You gotta like literally go to your phone and look at. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna stop talking because I don't want to talk about this shit unless everybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Because it's because it's like waste of my words. Go to Instagram or YouTube. And look at little Uzi Bird Coachella. And, this, and just how he walking, bro. How the fuck? How the fuck is this a role model? How the fuck are people in high school wanting to? I'm confused, bro. No, we'll start. We'll look at it right now, bro. I'll wait. Because I'll wait. We have seven minutes. I'm not going to say shit. I'm going to give y'all the 10 minutes. Y'all got to see this shit, bro. Like, I, how is this accepted? How Yo, you said something very important, Afi King. The back in the day, this was some career ending shit. Now, if you want to be a sex symbol, you got to look like this. <laughs> now you know what you said a little while ago you said that the whole diddy shit you know what yeah, real, shocked real, real, real me quick, real and, quick because i'm surprised bro talk. we ain't never talk about that it just kind of we we, we we talk about it we missed that one i now kind of know like what'd you think of that shit like that shit was funny to me bro because this nigga was still trying to put his coat his masculine frame Fuck that shit, nigga. Get that ass, nigga. <laughs> Fuck, he's still he's still trying to be hard while he getting while he the one getting pegged, bro. He's still trying to be tough with it though. I, it just tickled me, bro. It's like you you're not you know even the crazy? one. You're you're the one taking it. Talking about get it, get it, nigga. Like no, you the you the bad ratchet bitch to him, bro. How how are you the yeah. bad ratchet bitch to another man, bro? That's what I'm saying. You the wide receiver, my nigga. And what's crazy about this whole shit is like it's just one fucking punch of the button. Jonathan Majors was on top. He was the next hot thing. He got Marvel and shit, and he lost it just like this. Diddy, we all knew. Nobody should be surprised of all the freaking crazy shit that goes on behind the scenes. It is what it is. I'm not condoning it, but it is what it is. But for the fans and the legacy to be tarnished just like this, one push of the button. So when we have some woke Avengers, I guess, if you will, the Kevin Hart's, the Kanye West and shit, talking about some shit that we want to hear, and we think they're in a position of power, they were given a pass. Like 50 Cent, for instance. 50 Cent right now is the big the, the entertainment bully. Nobody fucks with 50 Cent. But he's not safe. If they're done with his ass, he's they're done with his ass. So at the I end of the day, look at Usher. Usher, he got that Super Bowl shit, and now... At the Met Gala, his eyes looked soulless. He's doing all this gay shit. And we're supposed to just look at this. And the youth is saying, okay, it's not career ending. So in order for me to get my career up and running, 
I gotta embrace this shit. I got a problem with that, my nigga. Let me ask you, when you first heard the Meek Mill shit, did you think it was fake or did you think it was some AI shit? Or would you like that? I do well not Meek Meek is a little distinct. And the, and it, it's not his voice, it's how it's the pattern of how he says shit. And I was like, damn. Man. Man. You know, at first, like everybody else, I was like, damn, I, I was caught up in the hype. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, we, we, you know what I mean? They were they were clapping, you know, clapping his ass and shit. And then there's some people said that there was a, it was a snowfall clip. But I think we you and I did some research and shit. Like we like, nah, that ain't snowfall, bro. It's similar though, but it's you know. yeah, it is what it is. Some niggas getting it, but it was and then you seen me just the other day. He was in his shirt without his shirt on dancing. It's just weird. It's like, why aren't we talking about, why isn't anybody coming out? So we're talking about the state of masculinity. What the hell is in the water that's causing you niggas to pretend to be a man, but act like a bitch? This is the fucking problem. Now watch this. How, how the fuck is this accepted, bro? He should be getting his ass, like, he got, like, how... I'm confused. And then he goes home to his girlfriend and talks about what? Like, I'm confused. This is, and it just so happens that his girlfriend is a city girl, one of the top, the shit talking bitches. I, I'm, I don't understand, bro. I'm literally, don't look at it, Rob, right now, bro. I'm away. Y'all, everybody gotta go see it. I'm gonna just sit, like, I'm confused. I wanna know, am I fucking crazy or not? Cause if, cause if I, if, if you got, if you niggas can look at this shit and don't get triggered, maybe the fuck I'm crazy then. Maybe the fuck I'm crazy. But when I grew up, you know what the fuck my role models was? I used to want to be fucking Sylvester Stallone from The Predator. I used to want to fucking be Rocky and shit and beat people up. I used to want to fucking, uh, you know, Hulk Hogan, right. shit like that. So I don't understand this new shit, bro. And I'm trying to like, wrap my head around it. This nigga walking around here like a goddamn bitch and shit. And pop, like, what, what, what? what? Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 yo, listen, man. Let's okay. This is very important. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, your channel, it may not be. You know what, Fee? Your original live, you should put it on Patreon because you guys got to hear the rest of it. It's like another 30 minutes of it. You should hear the rest of it. That's put it on Patreon. Called, yep, it's called Emergency Live. Emergency Live. Make sure y'all go to Afi Kingdom's Patreon to go check out the rest of that. But we want to talk about. So let me ask you this, Fee. You've you've coached thousands of men, bro. You've walked a lot, hundreds of men off the ledge. You, you prevented them from swallowing bullets. Why do you think? Here's a question for you. Why are men? You you've coached so many men, and I'm pretty sure you've come across. What would you say the percentage of men that you've coached that even caught you by surprise, based on what you see, based on the things that they have? Why do they still have problems with women? considering that they shouldn't have problems with women. What would you say? Say that one more time. The last part, why do... Yeah, like a percentage, roundabout. You've coached thousands of men. What percentage of men do you really think have you coached that didn't really, you in your mindset, in your from, from your perspective, didn't really need coaching based on their looks, their finances, et cetera? Why Did do I you... Have... Okay. No, I, I, had, I, had a, I had a good coaching call. See, I'm sick. I'm... I'm sick. I'm still coaching. I'm still doing this shit, bro. Hey, you niggas pay for it. I got to give it to you, bro. Absolutely. Or some shit. So even him, I told him just today, like, bro, like, this this, this, this be the funny thing. We all live in our own universities and our own bubbles. And we be thinking that we, when we're going through our shit, we be thinking our shit is the coldest shit that we're going through. And it should be average shit, bro, that we go through that we feel like it's super bad because we don't want to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like going through a bankrupt and shit. It, it be feeling like the end of the world, but everybody feels like that when it happens. So you're really not special. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. This, I want to say this. Um, people, that's why I got respect for, for serial killers and cult leaders, bro. We, you can say you you and take it how you want because I will tell you this. Because uh, I'm using my words right. They know mm -hmm. the position correctly. They know the pecking order, bro. Mm, unpack that, will you? Yeah. Because that can go hand in hand with the dynamics in the relationship. Unpack the pecking order. Go ahead. They understand a, a woman's real position and ain't the one that you. It's like my Nexium cat, bro. 
That nigga created a whole thing where he was the final boss and he had bitches to get his bitches to perform for. He had he had he had three tiers of hoes, bro. This is a little five foot guy with a mullet and glasses, bro. So uh, it ain't like he just a super fucking thirsty. He just in there hitting everything, bro. He got he had his five bottom bitches and you five bottom bitches. I want y'all since she, since y'all a reflection of me. Since I got five bitches, y'all get a guy five bitches. But y'all gonna make them slaves. So the shit that I can do, y'all y'all slave them bitches out. And if them bitches are good enough, you let them get access to me. He knows right. the diet, nigga. That's what. See. Yo. <laughs> and so yeah. I'm saying that that's to say you guys don't pay attention to the dynamics of relationships. You just you just want the relationship, and however it come, it come. No, bro, dynamics, bro. Mm, let me let me let me piggyback on that, which is very important. You said something very important. They probably went over a lot of you guys' head. Guys, make sure you guys right, like this. It's fan now. Hold on. Now you good. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video. YouTube is not going to push this. YouTube doesn't want you to be masculine. Okay? Cash app Alpha Villains. Make sure you um, subscribe to Afi Kingdom Books as well. This is very important. He said pecking order. They know the order. We rely. You, you got to make sure that you put the order of the relationship you guys kind of set it up the way you want to set it up right so if, it, if there's a pecking order you have to be the first person in that order and that everything else falls into place now is it that's, easy that, nigga that's book shit i just said right there casually bro y'all 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 don't even know what y'all hearing bro <laughs> that's what i'm saying so i want i got a question for the guys that are watching why are men waving the white flag with women why are they giving up now fee have you heard about this soft guy era shit Yes, unfortunately. Okay, let's let's let. I'm gonna play something real quick. I'm gonna wait till you get back on camera. Take your time. <clears throat> you good? Take your time. You chilling? We're gonna talk about this video right here. We're gonna react to some videos and talk about it. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay, so the ladies are back with their sassy list. Okay, now this is what makes a man sassy. Part two. Ladies, let me know if I left anything out. This list is crazy. This list is crazy. Watch. So good handwriting. You sassy. If you got a nose ring, you sassy. If you eating a hot dog in public, you sassy. If you keep blocking her number every time you get an attitude, you sassy. If you wearing pants tighter than hers, you sassy. If you wearing that dangly earring, you sassy. If you have a man purse, a fanny pack, you sassy. If you always want to shave room all up in the comments, you sassy. <laughs> if you want her to chase you, you sassy. Being a women business, you sassy. If you flip your head back when your dreads get in your face, you sassy. It's getting an easy breezy cover girl. Ladies, lady, you're supposed to just let the dress stand up. Like, if you squinting all your pictures, you sassy. Me making this. Look at this nigga, B. I don't understand none of you young niggas. Now, I was young once. Shit, no shirt Friday. I was a douchebag. We heard the stories. <laughs> the two hoop earrings and shit. I thought I was like some, I don't know what the hell I thought I was. So we all go through our phase, but I don't understand you young niggas. We didn't have a voice. We didn't have platforms to tell But AV, hey, real quick. You, I, I hear you tell that story, but you, you you don't be telling the story right, bro. Because that was popping. You be leaving that part out. We it's yeah. like we make fun of wearing the, the cross color shit. Like I used to wear cross, right, right. but it was popping though. The hoop right. earrings was popping though. Like so, you right. you, you, you forget that part every time. Just right. like I used to wear Jabos, they was popping though. I wouldn't right. wear it now, but that was I was the shit when I was fucking with it. Mm, I wasn't the lame with that. I was the saucy nigga with that. That was the shit. I used to love your bows, man. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let's go. You you, you young nigga. It's sassy. Blowing bubbles when you chewing gum? Sassy. Holding the steering wheel upside down? Uh, late ladies. Putting your hands on your hips? Sassy. Hanging with your homeboys every day? Sassy. Saying quotes like bros over hoes? Sassy. This is what the ladies talking about, y'all. This is the ladies' list. Ladies, listen, I'm telling you. All ladies want us to do is go to war, build houses, and pay bills. That's all we can do. That's all. Nah, because I'm seeing all these dudes online talking about soft guy era this, soft guy era that. Y'all want girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type... Talk to pause me. it, bro. See, I just talked about the dynamics and shit in the, in the, in the pecking order, bro. See, the, the uh, only a genius or a really smart, intelligent person will pick up on the fact that you, all these niggas are followers, bro. You don't... If you were masculine, you don't... What It doesn't matter what... It, let, let's say the trend... Let's say the trend wasn't to be a bitch ass nigga. Let's say the trend was to be basketball. You still follow on a trend, fool. Right. That's right. not and, being a leader. Following was popular. Absolutely. And you know, let me say this too. 
being an older man and being young ones, right? You know, here's my problem with this shit. You know, when I see older guys still following like they're teenagers, that's where I have a problem. That's why I can't relate because we all got to find ourselves. We all get um, inspired by others. But there, at, at what point, guys, do you find, you say, you know what, I'm not going over there. I'm not fucking with that. I'm going to do it this way, despite the backlash. Despite everybody looking at you like you're toxic, masculinity is not toxic. A lot of bitches in New York are getting their shit rocked, getting punched in the face. Another nigga lassoed a woman with a belt and sexually assaulted her. Not all men are bad. Masculinity isn't bad. Like, look at this shit. So, okay, me and me and Goldie, shout out to him. We did a show a, a few days ago. But we did a we did an impromptu show maybe in the middle of the week, right? So, matter of fact, I gotta tell you about that day because that something happened. So, uh, it, oh no, matter of fact, you do know. So, anyways, um, I think I'm talking about like, yeah, bro, you need you ain't even got no lineup. Okay, I ain't got no lineup. I just came from somewhere. But let's just break this shit down, nigga. I ain't got no lineup, but you on here trying to get advice on how to get good with bitches, bro. So, what the fuck are we talking about, nigga? I already know how to do this shit that you sit in this chat waiting for us to reveal the shit to help you, nigga, out. But you worried about if I got a lineup or not. I tell that nigga I'm known for having a saucy world beard. Player? Fuck you talking about, nigga? But I ain't got to get dressed up to talk to niggas either. Ain't ain't no pussy up in this chat, bro. And watch this. You you don't even need a lineup or uh, or get dressed up to get bitches either. You stupid niggas. You stupid niggas. Stop worrying about the wrong motherfucking thing and listen. <laughs> right. Okay? Watch this. Hear that. Y'all want girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type of dudes, bro, is damn right. It's about time. Personally, if you ask me, it couldn't have been said better. I'm, I'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me. You want to come here asking me what I got to offer, what I bring to the table. Baby, I am the table. And, and, and it's not the question of do I got money, obviously. <laughs> but I want yours. How could we speak in our mind? Now we... Now, here's the thing. I don't know where Afi went. He probably um, dropped off. He'll probably come back in. But here's the thing. You know, what do you guys think about this sassy guy era thing? You know, a guy, a woman paying for you. This is shit that we were talking about years ago. If you got game. Now, what's an indicator? Why, if a woman pays for you or she decides to do something for you, you got to be sassy about it. If a woman invests in you, she spends money on you. That's a true indicator that she likes you. Yes or no? Does anyone agree with that? We all know that women do not part with their money. So if a woman invests in you and she pays for your bills, she pays for shit, she really likes you. So you don't have to join the club. You don't have to join or ride an algorithm to say that you want to be part of the soft guy era because everybody is sick and tired of women having unrealistic expectations sassy now we acting zesty what y'all be saying and did don't care if i'm gonna put your ass to work i'm looking for the big ballers okay when that bill comes to the table don't even look in my direction it's giving broke girl and baby if that's the case that's fine just say that no judgment that's a fact if you're broke it's okay most of you bitches are broke we know that we know you're broke that's 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 not a big deal we know that you're broke But a guy having an expectation, having boundaries, wanting to feel like his time is well spent aside from the pussy. This is something that's very important. Virgo Smith, peace, peace. Peace, my G. Salute to you, man. I appreciate you for coming in. We talking about the state of masculinity. Where off he at? Hold on. There he goes. You good? Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes the the iPhone and shit heat up on your ass. Nah, you good. You good? All right. But next caller. I'm sorry, boo. No money on your dunyan. It's got to go. At this point, I'm not even answering the call unless I get a cash app first. Like, what? Where is my money for my haircut? You want me to pump the gas? I forgot my wallet for me, my favorite line. And don't ask me to take out the trash. Baby, I'm in Margiela's. This ain't no- Fee, I want you to comment on this because I know you. I've known you for, for about four years now. You're a really good friend of mine. And, um, you know, they're making a big deal about women investing in them paying for shit cash app and them some shit and i you know i know you are accustomed to that so can you elaborate without going too personal too deep about a man yeah, being this, able to expect that type of treatment and it not being such a big deal 
let me tell you why the men are pussy, bro. Because they want to be, they want king treatment just for being a man and not being an actual king. Because when you're an actual king, you don't have to ask for all of this shit, bro. You don't gotta even set it and be like, "This is my expectations." Bitches want to fuck with you, and then you just tell them that anyway. You don't just have to say it. It makes it that's it's not real then. It's not real. It's, it's just you saying some shit, and it's and it looks real bad because at the end of the day, you are projecting the mindset of a woman, bro. Right. Just, Yo, just like a woman. You, just like a woman's just trap. Just like a woman. Bitches want to get perks just because they bitches. So now niggas want to be perks because they bitches too. Yo, make sure y'all like this video. Share this video. Let everybody know we cooking right now. Okay? This is very important. This is not going to get pushed into the algorithm. If These you niggas want to get cashed out for their vagina, bro. You niggas... If you niggas are tired of being bitches, this show's for you. You heard? Watch this. I go on a date with a female and the bill comes and I look at it and I... This fucking guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. This fucking guy. I say, uh, you know, it was so good to see you and everything. Up. She don't pick up the bill and she said, oh, you're not going to pay for it? I said, what? drizzle drizzle i'm not gonna pay for anything um that's giving me a ick like i don't know what you're talking whoa 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 that's giving me, ick, bro. That's giving me a ick is that some new slang do you niggas say poop instead of shit <laughs> are you the type of nigga that says poop instead of shit what's the ick my nigga these are your leaders these are your leaders i don't know drizzle you, drizzle don't say giving me bro Let's go. That, that, that ain't you. This giving me that's that is. See, I got a god brother that's gay, bro. So the thing is, is that little language got popular when the reality shows came out. That's actual f gay homosexual language y'all repeating. All that shit, that's gay shit. But that's not. See, y'all look at it like the women say it. Like that's actual. They got it from the gay people, bro. That's code. That's gay you shit. Just that's, code, my G. That's the team. That's trade all that honey and all that shit. That's gay shit, bro. That y'all niggas be saying. Drizzle, drizzle. I'm not gonna pay for anything. Um, that's giving me a ick. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're you should be paying for the bill. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I got ready. Like, my suit costs like thousands of dollars. I got ready for you. My cologne costs a couple thousand. Like, I got ready and showed up. Like. I don't know what you're on, but I'm in my soft guy era, drizzle, drizzle. So I'm just trying to make sure that you understand that what's happening here is that you need to really put out. I don't know really what you have to offer. You could just say you're broke, but you could just say you're broke. Yo. Let, me say, let me say this. See, the thing is, he think he's slick. He's trying to make a mockery of it. But this nigga had the same sauce before this era shit came. So really, he's just putting a name on what he's already doing. Actually. Let's say, let me let me let me unpack what you just said. Okay, no disrespect to the homie. I don't know this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, but his mannerisms, the way he's acting, he was doing this before this drizzle, drizzle, and soft guy era shit. Now he says his suit costs a couple thousands. His his cologne costs a couple thousand. It don't take a rocket scientist to know if the bitch knows you making money, she gonna try to pay for you, b. So what the fuck does this have to do with you? If you, if you, I think he's a magician and shit. He got clout and shit like that. Bitches ain't willing to pay for your lunch or your dinner. Maybe you don't have any game, my G. Because if you niggas think that you got to have clout, you got to have fancy cars, private jets, nice views, and you still can't get a bitch to pay, maybe you don't deserve the bitch. Okay? It's just me talking. Bro, because I got a maid. I got a chef, I got an assistant. I don't really need a woman. So if you're broke, you can just say so, you know? But I have to go ahead and block her. I was not going back home with her. You know, if you and your soft guy era, continue to be in your soft guy era because we are not lowering our standards. We will find someone who would do better. Okay. Now I respect it. Alpha Kingdom shit dropped again. I wait for you to come back in, my bro. I respect it, bro. But what's wrong with you niggas, man? Look at this. What's wrong with this nigga right here? Is this masculine? Is this masculine? Is this masculine? Why would Jim Jones need to do this?
Is this masculine? Why are all these hip-hop once masculine men forced to do this? This is the state of masculinity. This is where we're at right now. This is where we're at, bro. And nothing's going to change. Nothing's changing. Okay? Let me see what y'all saying out there. Hold on while we wait for Afi Kingdom. Because I got a question for you guys, too. This is very important. What do you guys really think? What do women really think of males today? Okay, what do you, what do you think women think of males today? Get those likes up. Peace, peace, Virgo. I appreciate you, man. Real talk. This is Jabrizi. I know, I know, I know who he is. You know what I'm saying, um, it is what it is, bro. I know who he is. What do women really think of males today? Now you're gonna tell me, well, Avi, who gives a fuck what they say? Who gives a fuck what they think? I agree with you a thousand percent. Who cares what they think? But, you know, to coexist, there he goes. He's off you right now. Sophie, what do, so what do you think about, you know, what do you think women really think? What do women really think of males today? What do you think? You hear you in your coaching, what do, what do women want? You've written 80 books. Before we get into that, before you answer this question, Talk to us about some of your books, bro. You got a library, your own motherfucking library of 80 books. What are your latest books out right now? Uh, <clears throat> my latest books, I'm going to put them through this week. So there will be uh, International Pimp, which is the sequel to International Prelude to a King. And then I got Educator 5 uh, dropping, which is a cool book. It's... Uh, it's uh, international education where I talk about the downfalls and the losses that I took, getting stranded, almost getting robbed and shit like that. Right. You know, it's 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 me telling the stories that people don't want to tell. Right. And then the other one is International Player Two, which is a course book. So I, International Player One was about the dating, and this one's about the dating too, but it's more on some step by step shit, and it tells you how to get the girls, the best places to get the girls, and shit of that nature. Once you get the strategies for the first one, and the second one is in the implication for a plan. And these books are all available on Amazon.com, right? Yep, Amazon.com. Make sure you guys go to Amazon.com. Look up for look up Afi Kingdom, Afi Kingdom Books, and you'll see a plethora of books, man, for any type of situation that you need. But we're gonna talk about what do women really think of males today? Watch this. Hey, what's up, y'all? So you know, every time I get on this app, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all. But now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era, this drizzle, drizzle movement, right? Listen, any man that's comfortable with a woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you will do the same with a man. A lot of these men, ladies, are just down low. They just too ins- Y'all heard what she said? Yo, Rob Marine, I appreciate you, man. Salute Kings, day one. Got y'all books through Kindle. AV, waiting on that masculine book, too. Afi, catching up with all your books. Just finished Mindset Essentials for Dating. We'll be booking a consultation to consultation soon, Rob Cruz. We appreciate you, bro. Salute to you. Thank you for the donation. Day one. Hello. Salute, salute. So, yo, you heard what she said? <clears throat> yeah, she, she, heard, she masculine as fuck, though. It's going to take a hood nigga to put her ass in check. And that's the only type of nigga she's probably fucking with. That ain't nothing but a drug dealer's bitch that's old now. Woo! She was salty and shit back in the day. And she still got the same little vibe and shit, but she old now. Mm. That's a drug dealer's bitch. She was a, the saucy bitch in the 80s, is what mm. she was. Sit down, it's grandma. To come out the closet. It's cool. You know, because this whole movement is perpetuated by them not really being, you know, for them being in their feminine energy, for them not wanting to be a lead with masculine energy, because when you're in your masculine energy, there comes responsibility. You don't want the. Re- I agree, Grandma. I agree with that. This is very important. I think that's another reason why. You definitely, you definitely got to tell her shut the fuck up. For sure, she might I like that. I always be too. telling cats, you got, yeah, she do like it. See, and that's the thing. Uh, see, you see, see, and that's how it all boils down to the science. See, she needs to be told shut the fuck up, and then you'll be treating her like a queen and shit, and you'll be bumping your head and being like, "Why this shit ain't working?" Because it don't work for that type of fucking car, bro. 
Mm. These cars, they need to shut the fuck up and bro. Or else it's it ain't gonna work. Smoke. Glenn fucking Lawrence. Yo, I know the movie's coming out to salute to Glenn Lawrence. Make sure you guys subscribe to Glenn Lawrence. What's That's good, good, homies? Hey, Afi, I'm working on my first book. It's going to be called Why You Old, Bitter, and Unfuckable. 12 Things to Do, Women Do to Sabotage Their Happily Ever After. Let us know, man. We can talk like about that. it. We appreciate <laughs> it. So like let's go. Responsibility. So you want to go with your female energy, your feminine energy, talking about you want to live a soft life. You a man. But a lot of you males don't really want the responsibility. So now you want to flip it and try to gaslight women into believing that they supposed to pay your way. Understand it's the same thing that these men are trying to get women to do for them. They will allow a man to do it for the right price. What you think about that? Hey, what's up, y'all? So, you know... Uh well you know what just because I broke her broke her whole shit down don't mean she wasn't preaching facts see that absolutely she's still preaching facts right. I'm just uh, absolutely one thousand percent time y'all want submission for women that are that have the capacity to give it or they have capacity to get it but it just ain't from you bro like and that's okay you got to be okay be it, we're walking away you can't get every mm -hmm. time a home run bro and you ain't supposed to you're not supposed to figure out every time you meet a bitch or how could I score on this one. Some of them is not scorable. Some of them you just supposed to fuck with and learn some real shit to the ones you do want to fuck with. You know mm, what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, bro, like, <clears throat> like, like Miko show it. Like, you know, niggas are looking like, like, well, at least I'm getting paid for it. Niggas is doing it for free. It's like, it, 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 it's people care more about clout and shit like that and attention than principles of a man. If they get mm -hmm. if they get a bunch of likes and views and hearts and shit, just like how a bitch like it, that's enough for them. They want right. these new niggas want hearts in their comments, bro. They want mm. hearts. They want kissy faces in their comments. Mm. These, these niggas want, bro. That's a fact. I'm about to hold y'all. This want no soft guy era drizzle drizzle shit has me weak. <laughs> Ladies are taking it so serious. Number one, this is clearly satirical in nature. Like they're they're taking it to the extreme, but be for real. But ladies, day after day, week after week, these are videos that women have been making and posting all over TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. So we already knew honestly that they were gonna get back, but we just didn't know how. But honestly, I'm not mad. Like as a woman, I do want to live a soft life. I would love to not have to pull myself up by my bootstraps every single day and do what I got to do, but I do it anyway. But why is it wrong for men to want a partner to share that with them? Again, I know these videos are extreme, but you understand what they're saying. And ladies, if we be 100% honest, if you love your man, you definitely tricking on him a little bit. <laughs> I mean, because you're not afraid to share what you have. You're not stingy about spreading the love that you have or the wealth that you have because you want to show that person you love them. But I think we've taken it a little too far. It's a little much. And if you don't have the bandwidth to understand satire or comedy or any of that stuff, and it's just this conversation was never for you anyway. Do you believe her? Uh, no. That's that satire is just saying the shit in reverse, bro. You ain't got to be waving a flag and shit when you say shit. It be still Boom. infeminine. You ain't got to act like a bitch. You could just repeat the shit that they say as a man. You don't got to act like a flame and shit to get the fucking point across. See, 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 <clears throat> it, see, it's the same thing. You the, the dudes are entitled as if they got a vagina, bro. You don't get that type. If you don't have leadership qualities and masculinity qualities, no leadership plus masculinity equals no submission bro you don't just get it because you just because women can say it so we can say it too what are you joining the women's revolution well actually that is actually that's funny that's actually what you're doing but then you heard what he said wanna, but then you want a woman you want you want a woman to follow you and serve you and shit but then you join the women's revolution and shit you might as well get on what's the fucking shit uh me too you might as well do that shit too <laughs> right exactly. all, if all it takes is all you want is attention. Just do that. Exactly. All right. Here's one more. One more. And then, guys, I want to talk about this too. We're gonna drop. We're gonna drop some game on you guys right now. We're gonna talk about ten steps 
to reclaiming your masculinity. We're going to do it the way we did it with, on your show feed. We're going to give them five each, but we can't use them. So I get five, you get five. So you know what I'm saying? So that we give them, we drop five, ten bars on how to reclaim their masculinity. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Donate, support the war, man. Cash app Alpha Villains. What's your cash app, Afi Kingdom? Afi Kingdom Podcast. Afi Kingdom Podcast on cash app. Subscribe to his channel as well. Y'all already know who he is, but let's go. Day and this soft guy era stuff is life. It is so funny. My comment section on that post is hysterical. The things the men are saying, it is just so funny. And the number of angry, triggered women in that comment section this is an anti women. This is giving women the energy that they have been giving to men. If they wanted to, they would. Men are no longer settling for the bare minimum. And men expect you to come with 50-50. They're not even asking for 100% like y'all were. Well, some of them are because they want to trigger you. They're, oh my God, I love it so much. But man, some of these ladies are so mad. And they all like to call me a pick bee. And other flailing insults at me. It's... <laughs> Anyways, stay triggered, ladies. Have the day you deserve. This bitch reminds me of an opportunist, man. Just repeating some shit she heard on from Pearl, some silly shit like that. The fuck are you talking about? What kind of one-on-one -on -one feminist shit is this, bro? You're only supposed to like trigger women if it like if you make content or some shit like that for a reason, bro. You niggas are just tickling, triggering hoes to tickle your feather and shit. <laughs> That's right, right. bro. Exactly. Stop just cause. No, work on your purpose, bro. We ain't got time to be pissing off unnecessary bitches, bro. Exactly. No, we don't. Exactly. We don't have time to be pissing off unnecessary bitches or anybody for that matter. So let's give them before we get up out of here, man. Let's give them ten steps, ten ways, ten things that we think that we can help these guys reclaim their masculinity and not feel bad about it, despite everything that's going against them. So. You want to start it? What's one way you think that men can do one thing that they can do to reclaim their masculinity? Um, uh, first one, uh, watch, watch badass 70s and 80s masculine movies and see how a man's supposed to be. Watch black, yeah, but he got a of bitches after. He's a real man. That was a, that was the whole theme of the, that was his theme song. He's a real man. Black shampoo. Y'all Google that one. He, he was a hairdresser, Jonathan, <laughs> and he had all the bitches. He and he was cool yeah, for so, Afro in a white jumpsuit. He's a real man. Yeah. yeah Watch that's old school cool masculine way. fucking shits. Watch old school masculine movies, man. The old school guys. You know what I mean? The Clint Eastwood, the Charles Bronsons. You can even go to the shows, Telly Savalas, the Black Exploitation movies, Fred Williamson, fucking John Shaft, all that shit, man. Goldie from the Mac. This is very important, bro, because what you're watching right Super now, fly. Superfly, what you're watching right now has nothing to do, has nothing to do with what a man should be like. And they're programming you. All right. So that's number one. Number two, let me let me say one right here. Um, Try to get handy. Try to build some shit. Now, I know the easy go-to say, go to the gym, make muscles, lift heavy shit. That's too easy. Try to build some shit. Get a toolbox, go to Home Depot, build some shit. That's very important. Are you good with your hands? Can you put shit together? I know we, we don't have a lot of time, but if you can saw some shit, you own a toolbox, and you know how to change the oil on your car, you know how to change a motherfucking tire, those are things, those are traits that masculine men do need to know how to do and we've become really soft and we've become really lazy because of technology we have little robo vax we have all these things that can do shit for us man you know i was listening to joe rogan the other day and they were talking about the jawline because you know in this community you need to have a strong jawline and over the years the jawline has receded right so a lot of guys don't have a strong jawline because they're saying their study saying that because we're not chewing food all the foods are pureed, right? So we're not really eating shit off the leg, off the leg and shit like that. So we're not chewing properly because there's guys that are buying things to kind of strengthen their jaw. So use things with your hands. Use your hand. Lift things up. 
build some shit, hang up something, paint, do things that men do that women expect men to do. That's going to help you reclaim your masculinity. And not to mention, at least you're going to know how to maintain your abode. That's very important. Give him, give him sure. another one. Uh, my second one is um, <clears throat> uh, fight, bro. You got to get punched in the face, bro. I got punched in the face. You got to. You got to fight. We always talk about people, we always talk about people kicking people's asses. It, you got to get fired on the shit to have that fire to really want to fuck people up and shit. You know? Very important. So, yeah, you got to learn to fight. You got, but, but I said, I am. Don't be scared of competition, cause a lot of you niggas be learning all this karate and all this judo and fucking Thai shit. But then when it comes to a fight, you don't know how to whip none of this shit out. So just cause you learn it, when you get scared, that ain't the, that's not the first thing that you think about doing, because that part ain't you. So learn some shit and fucking do it too. You know what I'm saying? I agree, one thousand percent. That's Create very important. Bag the elbow. Yeah, that's very important, man. You know, you learn any all type- this shit, and then when somebody run up on you. I agree a thousand percent. Remember, man, anything that you can do that's going to allow you to be able to protect your family, protect yourself, um, put yourself in a position where you can save your life, man. You know, it, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, jujitsu. You know, they, they talk about, you know, learn how to fight Krav Maga, jujitsu. That shit's expensive, man. A lot of people can't afford to do that on a monthly basis. So go to go to Sports Authority, go to Dick Sporting Goods, get one of those heavy bags that you put water in and get some Everlast gloves and punch the bag. Part of fighting too is not only skill, but it's also endurance, right? So doing it in the comfort of your own home, getting your form right, getting your endurance up could save your life, bro. That's very important. You ain't gotta, you know, you gotta learn. See, most fighters lose. They think that everything is going to happen in the first round or two. But you know, when you got adrenaline pumping, you're not, you're out of shape. You can easily get fucking knock the fuck out and now you're gonna go viral for the wrong fucking reasons so i think that's very important learning how to fight learning how to um not avoid conflict is very important let me do another one right here number four um this is gonna sound simple and a little bit redundant but this is also very important dress like a dress dress like a man you don't necessarily have to dress in tight clothing you know i'm a big guy i'm a bigger guy um, I can't wear a lot of shit because the cuts are very European like it's all slim and shit. I feel uncomfortable dressing like a man in monotone, monochromatic colors and shit. I think that's going to help you at least look the part. Now, it's not about the looks. It's really about the mentality. But we're talking about reclaiming your masculinity. You also want to look the part as well. Right. So I feel like, you know, having some boots, some, some a nice pair of boots. You If you're a man of a certain age, you shouldn't be wearing colorful, colorful ass sneakers anyway. Shit like that. So dressing the part, dressing like a man. You don't got to dress in suits and shit like that. However you feel comfortable, but it doesn't have to be designer either. As long as it fits you and you're not afraid to fill it out. You ain't got to have a six pack and shit like that, but dress like a man, bro. I think that's very important. Yep. Uh, my number four. Um, take time off from dating, period. If you you come up mo, but like you gotta, you have to learn to be comfortable in your own skin. Cause a lot of dudes are like needy for relationships in the same way that the women are. That they feel like if they ain't got a bitch or a main squeeze, they can't function. You need to be able to function yourself as a man, whether you got one or five holes or zero holes, bro. You need to be able to stand on your two feet without a. That's bitch. very important. And you know what's crazy too? I think this this day and age, the way everything is ran right now, it's it should it's. It's really easy to kind of go quote unquote monk mode. Now I know some of the game guys might laugh at that, but we're not talking about we're talking about taking some time to yourself to understand that a woman doesn't make you masculine. All right. Being able to knock down a bitch doesn't make you masculine. You have to learn how to be by yourself and embrace who you are and become the best version of yourself before you decide to get with the woman. So we're talking about reclaiming your masculinity. Know and disassociate yourself with women because. A woman will should not and will not define you as a man. So that's very important. Here's one. Um, learning how to be resourceful. And we're talking, let's talk about money, money, earning potential, learning how to be resourceful. If you're a lazy and you know that, you know, there are so many different ways to get money, right? I have multiple revenue streams. 
they're not adding to as much as I'd like them to add up to, but I get, I get some money here. I get a little bit of money here. I get a cash app from here. I get some money from Amazon here. I do things on the side. I'm, you know, it, it adds up. So there's multiple revenue streams in, if you're a man, 2024 with so much technology being part of being a man is being able to be resourceful and being able to tap into your gifts and not just necessarily throw your life away from a nine to five. We all have jobs. And right now, you know, I'm working at an undes- doing undesirable shit, but I'm also working on my dream. I'm also working on the things that God gave me to do. I'm also working for you guys because I know that being a man is very difficult and you need guys like myself and Afi to kind of give you some guidance and to let you know that it's okay to be masculine as long as you know what you're doing. So I think being resourceful is a very important component of reclaiming your masculinity. And that means figuring it out, guys. You know what I'm saying? You just got fired. Your credit's fucked up. You just got out of jail. You're a fella. Now figure it out. And that's part of being resourceful. I think we got two more. Uh, Well, my next one is um, become or prepare for being a father, bro. So if you're a father, become a father. Go ahead. My bad. And if you ain't one, prepare to be one because you want to be a man that your kid will follow. And you can prepare yourself to be that before he comes. So work on that. I think that's very important. You know, we obviously have fathers, right? We all have fathers. We wouldn't be here if we didn't have a father. And um, speaking for myself, AV Sr., you know, um, he wasn't really around. The the, the very few memories that I have of AV Sr., that he was a ladies' man, he was a player. And if you followed me from the beginning, you know that this is my my story. Wasted a lot of time on bitches because I was good with bitches. Fine, now I'm still playing cleanup. You heard the stories. But I think what Afi's saying is very important. If you are a father, even if you don't have any biological kids, people, you have a nephew, a younger brother, you're a content creator, and you have thousands of hundreds of men looking up to you to kind of get you, give you, give them some guidance. Be the man that you wish you had in your life. As soon as you realize the importance of having your motherfucking father or a masculine figure in your life to say, to look at him and say, yo, is this okay? Can I do this? You got my back if I do this because the world doesn't want me to be a man. That's very important because as soon as I realized how much I needed my father, anyone who was looking at me as a father figure or a mentor, I, I'm i responsible to at least give them or act accordingly and give them the gem or portray myself to be in a position to Give them something that I never got when I was a kid. So that's very important. You don't have to have a a child, but if you are a man, you know that you may one day be a father. Um, And if you choose not to have any kids, just know that as a man, especially as a masculine man, a lot of young boys need somebody to look up to, bro. So if you're going to be that, you're going to wear that crown, bro, just wear it with pride and just know that the streets is watching. They're watching you. And, um... I would say right here, my last one, bro, to reclaim one of the ways to reclaim your masculinity, become the man that a woman can count on. And I'm talking about be her rock. This is very important. Now, how do you do that without any bitches in your rotation? Be the man that all the women in your life can count on, whether it's your mother, your sister, because at the end of the day, women are programmed to not give you any type of accolades, not tell you that you are important, that you're necessary. All right. Everything that we just talked about right now, if you focus on those things, you will be not only are you going to be a rare breed, but you're going to be somebody that a woman can count on in all aspects and all facets of life. Because now you become a well-rounded man. You reclaimed your masculinity because you're making it a point and an effort to do that because you understand how important it is and how scarce it is in this world. So I think it's very important that, you know, we talked about a lot today. We talked about the state of masculinity. We talked about this soft guy era. We talked about men insulting in society and the, the Zionists or whatever you want to call them are insulting our intelligence because they think that men are supposed to act feminine and act gay, but we're supposed to think that they're still heterosexual. So I think once you guys understand that it's going to be an uphill battle, but it is very necessary. If you got people counting on you, man, being a man it's something that you need to make a decision to be. You got any last words, big bro? 
Uh, yeah, my last one is uh, read diverse and consistently. See, people always look at books as this is my opportunity to learn. It's not reading, read books. It's not even really to learn, bro. If you learn, that's a that's a bonus. Reading is just to open your mind to different thoughts that you wouldn't have before you start reading, bro. People, Absolutely. people, and people will read a book and be like, "I didn't like that book because I ain't learned shit." But at the same time, that book might have gave you twenty different perspectives. But you're such a small thinker that you want an exchange for your time. You know what I'm saying? I agree. It's large for this amount of time when really. There was a million knowledge in the book, but you just wanted the book to teach you when you gotta learn how to teach yourself through the book. Absolutely, man. That was you're right, because you're always putting on your social media too different books, not just your books, but you're putting on different books in it. And I appreciate you doing that because it kind of gives us perspective about what he's reading. Like, oh shit, he's reading that, and that kind of piques my interest because you know how deep and how layered you are. So I'm like, wow, he's reading this, he's writing that. So you've always been the type of guy to kind of share knowledge because at the end of the day as a as man we have to share this knowledge with each other bro we have to be because they're not they don't want you to know this you are a threat if you're masculine you're a threat so at the end of the day man you know make sure you broaden your horizons in every facet afi before we get up out of here man let everybody know where they can find you bro what's next for you Go ahead. um make sure you subscribe to the channel afi kingdom uh, if you're a new subscriber, I would kind of suggest you going through the the popular upload so you can kind of get a gist of uh, who I am and my personality. Because you may watch two of my videos and think I'm a, tra a travel vlog blogger. They may not think I got the game, but I just because I'm just a diverse person, so I drop a lot of stuff. Make sure y'all check out my books. Let me say, um, pay attention to the pay attention to the topics of the the pay attention to the tier of the book that it is like it. The book, the book will tell you what it's for. Like if I got a section called uh, dating mindset and strategies, that's for the dating shit. So what you're looking for, like if you're struggling with dating, don't get my travel series. Like pay attention to what you need. <laughs> don't just look at the stars and be like, this one must got be fire because it got fire reviews. Yeah, it's fire, but the niggas who read that shit was looking for the shit, you know, like if you right. If you, just like if you don't care about dating, then you know, or you know, conversation with the souls, conversation with the mind is not going to teach you how to get bitches if you're not already getting bitches. It's, it talks mm. about that that that's the dark side. So that so each pay attention to that, and then you'll save yourself some time. Quit going for the covers, y'all like, and 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 buy the information that you need because it's there. Right. That's it's right. not going anywhere, guys. Follow follow the. Follow the trail. You know what I mean? The pussy ain't going anywhere. Get your mind right before you do that. And lastly, tell them where they can find you if they want to get coaching. I mean, that's very important. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, DominanceMindset.org <clears throat> uh, is the website. Uh, I got Afi Kingdom Books, uh, the website coming. Uh, I'm actually going to put that out after I put out the three books I said earlier. Then I'm, then I'm going to launch that. So I'll probably launch that one. Uh, what is it? May? That'll probably be launched next month. And, oh, yeah, okay. um, yeah, so I'll probably launch it there. I want to put that put out these next three books, and then, um, and then after that, man, I'm trying to get up in these films, man. Uh, so that's what I, that's what I'm trying to do next. Trying to get up in these films and 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 let the people on the other sides know about who Happy Kingdom is, because y'all y'all on this side, just because just because y'all know me, that, that don't mean the other eight people ain't supposed to know me too. These sure. niggas with these bitch. These niggas that's making these plays and making these calls need to know me. So, you know, we all start from somewhere. I just know where I want to go. And you should too. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Man. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, make sure you guys like this video. Share the video, man. If you enjoyed the show, Cash App Alpha Villains. Um, we appreciate you, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Alpha Villains. You're on Instagram as well, Afi Kingdom. Where are you yeah. on Instagram? Instagram? You can send me a DM and stuff. Uh, Afi Kingdom book and uh, international. Afi. Uh, make sure you go on there. I got a lot of that. My whole Instagram is my whole my, my whole setup of how I do my Instagram is to give people their comic relief throughout the day. We work hard and we go through a lot of bullshit. So I want when people come to my page, they can be like, "This guy's funny." If I make you chuckle or you just go through my comments and see just funny motherfuckers, that's why I do it. You know what I'm saying? So right. a lot of that shit, I post, I post for y'all. I don't be caring about that shit. I'm just trying to put a smile on y'all faces. <laughs> 
I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Share it. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace, peace.